G'day, I'm Professor Joseph Drew. I'm here to talk to you about the lessons we should learn from the recent de-amalgamation of Kutamundra Gundagai Regional Council. Not many people are aware, but that was actually a world first. The political party who amalgamated this council, forced the amalgamation, was the same political party that has allowed the de-amalgamation to occur. Maximum kudos for them for making a good decision based on good evidence. But there's so many lessons to learn if you're in a community who's thinking about de-amalgamating from this case study. So watch this video all the way through, learn the lessons, apply the lessons to get the best outcomes for your community. Okay, the first lesson to learn is that you must have a strong economic case. It's absolutely imperative that both of the de-amalgamated councils can stand on their own feet from day one that they have a viable proposition to become financially sustainable so that both communities can prosper. Now, the sad truth is that some amalgamated communities can't de-amalgamate because they wouldn't be viable. Too much damage has been done over the last five or six years, and that's very sad. You need to find out whether you're, which camp you're in and what your situation is before you even think about going through the Boundaries Commission process. And you must do your homework. Before you go to the Boundaries Commission process, you need to know whether a de-amalgamated council will be viable. You need to know the precise cost of de-amalgamation. Now, this is not guess and giggle commercial consultant work. Surely, if we've learned anything over the last six years is that we can't trust commercial consultants to do meticulous, independent, robust work. They simply make assumptions, which is a big word for guesses, and um, sit in their office in Sydney, don't go engage with the community, don't get to know the community, and as a result, bad decisions are made and people suffer. So go and do your high work, but go and get someone that you can rely on. So Kutamundra Gundagai got myself, but there's other people such as Emeritus Professor Brian Dollery, Professor Roberta Ryan, Professor Michael Court. There's lots of people you can go to Please don't make the mistakes that we keep making in Australia. And beware of commercial consultants. I don't think the Boundaries Commission's learnt their lesson yet. We had KPMG back in 2016. and the recent Boundaries Commission work, they went and engaged Deloitte's, which has a very sketchy re record. They've been ridiculed in the scholarly literature for some work they did years ago down in Tasmania. Look, it's like going to your general practitioner for brain surgery and then complaining after the fact that you don't like the outcome. It's not going to work well. These people are generalists. They're very good at what they do, accounting and auditing and, and commercial transactions, but they are not specialists in local government. I think your community deserves the best. I think your community thinks they deserve the best. So we need to stop going to these commercial consultants. We need to stop playing with people's lives with guess and giggle work that's motivated by big paychecks for partners and instead engage people that can do the work properly, who are specialists, who aren't motivated by the money, but are instead motivated by truth and care for your community. And you must be strategic about how you do this. Be strategic about when you time your Boundaries Commission push. Be strategic about how you release the information. Be strategic about getting your homework done first before you even start the process. Be strategic about organising your community and your media. The art is called heristetic. That's the scholarly work, word for it. I'm actually writing a paper on the heristetic of de-amalgamation at the moment. I've written papers on the heristetic of amalgamation before. But really what it's about is taking a step back, thinking about what you want understanding the legislation and the process and ensuring that you have all the resources and all your ducks lined up in a row before you start the process. Now I should point out that we do have a state government election coming up next March and that obviously has big implications for how you would approach the art of trying to get a de-amalgamation for your community if indeed that is the best thing for your community. And you must have community support. It's always been about community. That's what the clowns in Sydney back in 2016 didn't understand. 
local government is all about community, particularly in rural areas, because we get ignored by the state government and the federal government. The only thing they have to do with me is when they want tax money off me. The rest of the time, they entirely ignore me. So we have a lot of loyalty, a lot of respect, and a lot of reliance on our local government. We care about it passionately, and we don't give up when our only form of government is taken away from us. And this is something, a lesson that needs to be learned by commercial consultants, by politicians sitting in Sydney. So you must have that community support. It must be overwhelming. It certainly wasn't the case of Kutamundra Gundagai. And you must organise them well. So what was interesting about Kutamundra Gundagai, they had the council in exile. They had uh, professionals and former general managers and accountants and lawyers and the local GP. They had the real brains trust of the community running the process for their de-amalgamation. And if you put the best brains in your community up against forces who are opposed to de-amalgamation, well, obviously you will win because you will have the expertise you need. If you don't have expertise in a particular field, go out and get it. That's what Kutamundra Gundagai did when they engaged myself for certain services and they engaged some other professionals for certain services. You need to think through the whole process. You need to be organized and you need to always be mindful that this is all about your community, nothing else. So there's an awful lot we can learn from what Kutamundra Gundagai has done. Now, please note, and I've said this many times and people still don't understand it. I am not pro amalgamation and I'm not pro de-amalgamation. I'm pro community, I'm pro local government. Whatever's in the best interest of your community is what I'm passionate about too. Now, it may not be the case that it's the best move for you to de-amalgamate. You need to go and do your homework. You need to get yourself organized. You need to think about the strategy and decide what's in your best, in the community's best interest and proceed accordingly. I hope you've learned a lot from this video. I thank you for your time. Goodbye.